Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Redbubble review on their pillow and tote bag. I recently made these purchases on Redbubble and I actually brought them from my own shop. I'll explain. A couple of months ago I had an artist commission a piece of work in regards to my dog Max who passed away a couple months ago and she's super duper talented so I'm going to include all her links down below. I found her through Fiverr initially and I have a whole video about her creating this artwork so I'll also link that down below. So I have it on my shop. I love it. I love my little red bubble shop. I don't really talk about it much on this channel, but I wanted to make a purchase because I wanted to gift a pillow and a tote bag to my mom and dad for Christmas. They have no idea that I've ordered this. They have no idea that it's coming, which means this video isn't going to go live until Christmas or Christmas Eve or something like that because I don't want them accidentally seeing what I got them since they do watch my videos. They're some of my biggest supporters on this channel. So we're going to take a look at how it arrived and how it looks. I will say I have no prior experience with both of these items for Redbubble. I have purchased them from Society6, which is another print-on-demand company, very similar to Redbubble, and I really love Society6. I just don't have a shop there. Otherwise, I would have purchased it from them because there's something about the pillows that I like a little bit more from them. All right, this is the tote bag. It is absolutely gorgeous. The actual image itself came out super crispy and clear, um, and I like the texture of the canvas bag and I forgot what size this is. I want to say this was the smallest size or the medium one. So I'm going to just put that right here. There are three different sizes and the measurements are on the website. I just don't remember what I bought. Let me just check that out right now. Okay, yeah, so I got the medium size. This is 16 by 16. There is a larger size and I'm kind of curious about it, but this one was big enough for me. I think this is going to be perfect for her to run errands. She always lights a big tote bag. And I think it's really beautiful. This is a piece of art that really meant a lot to me. And the artist did such a wonderful job. And when this first arrived, I'm not going to lie, I definitely teared up a little bit. Um, it is a little bit thin. I kind of... It's been so long since I've tried both of them. I kind of want to say that I like the Society6 one a little bit more. So I'm just going to link that video down below. Just for reference, that is a little bit of an older video. That was a couple years ago. This is a little bit thin. And I don't think it's necessarily bad. It's dry clean only um, and spot cleaning only. But it's a little thin. But it still feels good though. It's just you can see a thinness once you look inside the bag. And you can just kind of see straight through the lining a little bit. But it doesn't show up on camera, and from the outside, I can't really see it. It's more so when you're looking at it from the inside. That's something to keep in mind. Most people don't mind. I think it'll, I think it's still durable. I think it'll still hold up well. I think you could still put your stuff in here and not have to worry about it tearing or anything. It's just something I noticed. But who knows? Society6, like, it's been so long since I ordered from them. So who knows if they even changed their method of making their tote bags. I still really love this. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Now let's move on to the pillow. The pillow, I chose the 16 by 16 inch pillow. I bought the cover and the insert, so it is cheaper if you just buy the cover, but I don't have any pillows that would have fit those dimensions, so I didn't choose to do that. I wanted to have the whole entire thing. With Society6, again, back in the day when I ordered from them, it came as one thing, like it just arrived as a beautiful big pillow, and this one you have to insert the pillow into the sleeve, which can be a little bit hard, um, and it gives you some instructions, which I recorded so you can see. I did it, some of the edges of the corners I feel like are not fully filled in so I'm gonna have to keep fluffing it up but for the sake of this video I wanted to show you how it looks like currently. Here it is really really beautiful again kind of like the quality of Society 6 just a little bit more you can see it's a little empty right here but that's just because I still have to kind of wiggle it in a little so I think they purposely I think they said this on their website that they purposely make the cover a little bit smaller than the filling so that it's a fuller effect something like that it is pretty again the quality is really nice it's really soft not like super cuddly soft but like soft enough like the texture that it's gonna look nice on a sofa on a couch on someone's bed i love the artwork once again very vibrant very visible it's not at all washed out or maybe a little hmm. no it's not it's pretty good i think the camera is washing it out the background is like a soft baby pink i think it's beautiful i'm really happy with it kind of prefer society six just a little bit more and it makes me a little bit tempted to upload these images there and try and see if it's any you better but let me know your opinions down below before i end this video i do want to go over the cost so my total 
for these two items as well as some stickers is $71.84. Redbubble always has a lot of great deals. The problem is you're either going to get great deals on the items and then pay for shipping or you're going to get free shipping but have to pay full price for the items. So my subtotal was $71.84 but with tax and shipping it was an additional $26.29 for standard post. So my total was $98.13. I did use Afterpay because why not? I'm a sucker for Afterpay. I placed this order on December 7th of 2021 and I received this order on the 17th which is within their estimated window because they initially gave me the estimated delivery of the 15th to the 21st of December. So it's not bad. It's something that's good to order ahead of time if you're buying something as a gift for someone. Obviously, especially with like what's going on in 2020 and 2021, it has had major impact on all kinds of shipping and postal services. So I'm happy that it arrived in one piece and it didn't get lost. My stickers are still not here because stickers are not provided tracking. And I wanna go over the stickers that I got but it's for my fiance so I kind of don't want him to see it yet but those have not arrived yet and that's not tracked because that's their way of saving money so both things shipped separately and hopefully the stickers come soon otherwise like it's, it's hard when something doesn't come with tracking because I worry about it getting stolen outside of my house um, that's something that I try to be very mindful of I try to make sure that i'm home when things arrive but it's hard if there's no tracking to know when to stay home for something to, to pick up something anyway i'm happy with my purchases i think these are going to make great gifts i think my parents are going to love it especially because they don't know any better they haven't ever seen my society sick stuff so to them there's not going to be that, that sense of comparison that i am uh doing so that is it for this video. Here's the part where I tell you happy holidays. I hope you're having a wonderful time. Whether you are celebrating alone or celebrating with family, you are very much loved and I appreciate each and every one of you who take the time to watch my videos. This is another year down of having filmed. Like I've had this channel for years and I filmed every year and it's been such a great productive outlet for me and I am so grateful to have lived to see another day. I love you guys so much. Take care and I will see you very soon with another video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and until next time, bye.